All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter four here, which is asking us to determine the moment of the force about point O, where point O is um, uh, just here on our diagram. And we know that we have a 500 Newton force acting 45 degrees to the horizontal here, um, acting on this kind of, I guess, sort of semi-circular kind of idea here. Now, evidently, uh, the force is acting diagonally, so it might make sense to decompose it first. Let's go ahead and do that then. So we can say uh, on the horizontal, we've got this 500 cos 45 component. And on the vertical, we've got this 500 sine 45 component. Just so you guys know, because this is a 45 degree angle here, um, this 500 Newton force acts just as much across as it does up. So 500 cos 45 and 500 sine 45 are actually the same value. But just to kind of distinguish them from each other, we've, we've given this one a sine and this one a cos, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and think about taking moments here. So Evidently, for the horizontal component here, the perpendicular distance is going to be this length here, right? And for the vertical component, the perpendicular distance is going to be this length here. Let's call this length, uh, not x, let's call it y, since it is vertical. And let's call this length here x, okay? Let's start by solving for x. So we know we'll have a three meter uh, length here, right? Um, and here we're gonna have a three cos 45 length, okay? Uh, so we can say that x, oh dear, x is equal to three plus three cos 45 which when we bung into our calculator, gets us a rough value of 5.12. And then for Y, we know that we would have the vertical component of, of uh, this kind of vector here, right? Uh, now that would be, uh, again, it would be three sine at 45. So let's just, we don't need to decimalize it. Let's just say Y is equal to three sine 45, right? Um, okay, we have all the information we need now. Let's go ahead and solve for our moment acting about point O. So we can say the sum of moments acting uh, about point O acting, uh, let's say, anti-clockwise here, since it looks like uh, we're going to have an anti-clockwise moment here, um, uh, is equal to, let's consider the anti-clockwise moment first, which is our 500 sine 45 here, we can say that the, the anti-clockwise moment here is 5.12 times 500 sine 45. And that our clockwise moment here is going to be this 500 cos 45 moment. So we've got y, a, a distance of y away from point O. So we can say minus 3 sine 45 times 500 cos 45. Okay, and when we bung that into our calculator, that gets us a value of 1060.6 newton meters, which we can simplify down to 1.06 kilo newton meters. And that's our solution there. So if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.